Good afternoon to those who listen. It is February 27th, 2024, 12.08 p.m. And just wanted to do a little quick video of the sky. We got some clouds, but they look mainly, and I'm saying mainly because there are some high, thin clouds here you can see. But mainly looks like regular clouds. At least over here and then over there maybe but some of it might be mixed and definitely high up there is definitely the high thin clouds made from the you know what man-made stuff sun in the trees on simulator but i really just wanted to discuss what's happening today and i'm sure it's happening all over the country too well maybe not you know the west because they're getting all the cold and snow but today we're getting up to 74 degrees here Davenport Iowa 74 degrees it's supposed to get windy later and we could possibly have a thunderstorm later tonight we were in the zone where there could be possible tornadoes but I think they ruled that one out I think it's more towards a little bit more towards the east of us that's supposed to get the more severe weather so then I don't know it's Starts cooling off about 8 p.m. And then overnight, I don't know when it's going to get 74. It's 71 now, so 74, let's say, 3, 4 in the afternoon. By 4 a.m., so less than 12 hours later, it's getting all the way down to 17 degrees. 74 to 17 degrees. That's 58 degree difference in less than 12 hours. That is insane. And to top it off, we're going to have wind. We could have some thunderstorms. There was a possibility of some snow showers. I don't think that's too likely anymore. But there's a chance we could get a little bit of snow. And since it's going to be so cold, they're saying the wind chill could get all the way down to zero. So 74 degrees. And then it's going to feel like zero degrees tomorrow morning, early morning. That's crazy. So I just wanted to know if anybody else is having these sudden drastic temperature changes literally within 12 hours to a day. That's crazy. So here it's about 12 hours. But still, that's going to feel like 74 degrees difference in 12 hours. That's big. I remember one time when I was in Colorado, Lamar, Colorado, it was like in the 70s and then they got snow the very next day. It was like a 70 degree difference or something like that. I'd have to go back and look, but it was in uh, 2020, I believe, the end of 2020. I could maybe go back and find it on my videos. They definitely did a video on it because it was such a dramatic temperature change. All right, thanks for watching. God bless. Let me know what's happening in your area, United States and the world for that matter. Anybody in the world and anybody in different part of the world besides the United States that's having a dramatic temperature change. And then we just, it's weird. We have tomorrow, it's supposed to just be in the 30s for the highs. And then the next day after that is the 50s. And then after that, we get back in the 70s and we're almost up to 80 degrees in the very beginning of march so that's kind of crazy too and it seems like there's a lot of places that are getting some some really warm weather lately like spring like weather really early does that possibly mean which i think it could mean maybe those cicadas are going to come out early i heard you know they're supposed to be like uh in may or the end of April, the end of April until early May is when they would normally come out. But it says if they have temperatures in the 60s, they can come out. So we'll see if they come out early. I think they're going to come out right before the eclipse. Right before the eclipse, and possibly during the eclipse. That would be even crazier if suddenly, you know, literally the, the cicadas came out during the eclipse. The same day as the eclipse, that would be crazy. But I think it's going to happen a little bit before. I really do. I think that they're going to start coming out right before. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for watching. God bless.